Modding a PSP in 2022 is so easy, even a caveman can do it. What? <laughs> oh, no, I, not cool. I did not Whoa. know you were there. Yes. I didn't know I could Easily offended Crow Magnans excluded, stick around, because in just a few minutes you're going to learn how to transform your PlayStation Portable into a full custom firmware system capable of running your content your way. To get started, let's check a couple of key things in your system settings. The first one is we want to make sure your PSP is set up for USB connectivity to your computer. Scroll down in the Settings tab to System Settings and select it with X. From System Settings, use the D-pad to scroll down to USB Charge. Select this with the X button and make sure that this setting is turned on. This will trickle charge your system while you're not transferring data over USB. Next, scroll down one setting to USB Auto Connect. Select it with the X button and make sure that this is turned on. Then you won't have to be burdened with manually connecting your PSP to your computer over USB. Finally, scroll down to the bottom and up one to System Information. Select it with the X button. Make sure you're on the latest version of the official firmware for the PlayStation Portable, in this case version 6.61. If you're not, go ahead and update your system before proceeding. You'll only need two downloads to fully mod your PlayStation Portable. The first one is Infinity 2.0. I've got the link for it in the description. On the Infinity website, scroll all the way down to the bottom. You'll find the download link here. Click on it to grab the latest version. Infinity makes it possible to install custom firmware to your system, but it's the Pro C2 custom firmware itself that does the magic. It's linked for you in the description. Scroll down on the page until you see the listing for the download link for version 6.61, shown here. Once you've located the download link on the page, click on it. Then close up any pop-up messages that appear. Then the custom firmware file will be downloaded to your computer. In your downloads folder, uncompress the two files that you just downloaded. One is a zip file that has the Infinity Custom Firmware installer package in it, and the other one is the custom firmware itself in 7Z format. Once you're done, delete the compressed files out of your downloads folder. Now you're ready to transfer the files to your PlayStation Portable. Plug your PSP in over USB to your computer. You'll need to set up some folders and subfolders on your PlayStation Portable's memory card. Navigate to your PSP side and double-click into the PSP folder. Inside that folder, right-click and create a new folder. Name this folder Game, G-A-M-E, with no S on the end. Once you have this folder created, navigate to it and double-click into it. Inside the Game folder, you'll need to create another new folder. Right-click and this time create a folder called Update, U-P-D-A-T-E, with no S on the end. Navigate to that folder and double-click into it. Go back over to your Downloads folder. Locate the Infinity 2.0 folder and double-click into it. There's probably an Infinity 2.0 subfolder. Double-click into that. There are actually two versions of Infinity. If you have anything but the PSP Go, the next step uses the folder called Standard. But if you have a PSP Go, like I do in this instance, you want to use the PSP Go folder. Choose the folder that matches your model of PSP and double-click into it. There will be an eboot.pbp file in there. Just drag it and drop it into the folder on your PlayStation Portable. On the PSP memory card, go back one level in the file structure. You should be back at the folder for PSP slash game. On your computer storage, navigate back to your downloads folder. This time we'll need to go copy the custom firmware itself over to your PlayStation Portable. In your downloads folder, navigate to the Pro C2 custom firmware folder that you just uncompressed. Inside this folder, double-click into the PSP folder. You'll find a folder in here titled Game. Double-click into that folder. The custom firmware you need is in a folder called Pro Update. The only thing you have to do with this folder is drag and drop it onto your PlayStation Portable. That's everything you have to copy over. You can disconnect your PSP from your computer over the USB connection and close out any instances of File Explorer. Back on your PlayStation Portable, it's time to run Infinity. Use the D-pad to navigate through the cross media bar to the game section with the controller icon. Scroll down on this tab until you see the listing for memory stick. Select it with the X button to continue. You'll find a listing here for Infinity 2. Select it with the X button to launch it for the first time. Quick note here, you can't run it if you're connected to an external display like a capture card. So we're going to switch over to camera mode in 3, 2, 1. There we go, back in business. To install Infinity, just press the X button. 
Once Infinity has completed the installation process, you'll be notified that you need to reboot your PSP. Press the X button to reboot. Once your PSP reboots, you can now install the custom firmware. On the cross media bar on the Games tab, use the D-pad to navigate to Memory Stick and select it with the X button. This time, use the D-pad to navigate down to the Pro C2 custom firmware installer. Select it with the X button to continue. You'll be presented with this very small, somewhat blurry text. Let's zoom in a little bit to see what's going on. All you really need to know here is to press X to install the custom firmware. Once it's completed, you'll be prompted to press X to start your custom firmware. This also restarts your PSP. Your PSP is running custom firmware, but it's not permanent, so if you stop here, you'll have to go through that process every single time. Let's fix that. On the Games tab, navigate to Memory Stick and select it with the X button. Once again, launch Infinity 2 by selecting it with the X button. This time, when you launch Infinity 2, instead of pressing the X button right away, slide left with the D-pad. From this menu, with the highlight selected on Pro C2, select it with the X button. Now slide back right to go back to the Infinity main menu. Press the Home button on your PlayStation Portable. At the message prompt that appears, press X to exit Infinity. With your PSP restarted to the cross media bar, let's take a moment and make sure everything went to plan. Slide over with the D-pad to the left to Settings. Scroll down to System Settings and select it with the X button. From here, scroll all the way down to the bottom and up one to find System Information. Select it with the X button and you'll be able to verify that you are in fact on 6.61 custom firmware. If you see the Infinity logo next to the 6.61, you're in. Now that you have a custom modded PSP, what's next? Why not learn how to play your retro gaming favorites on the go? And you can learn how to do that right here in this video shown on screen and linked in the pinned comment and description. Look forward to seeing you there.